what's going on guys this is gonna have to be a very very quick intro i'm late to the gym it's so bad i need to really work on this shit but we're not running too late so <laughs> about to hit a push session with josh i've never trained with him before and i just kind of wanted to get some footage because um, we're both in off season and yeah i think it'd be interesting for you guys to just get a different perspective from somebody make sure to subscribe enjoy the video and i'll see you guys later <laughs> yeah, that's it. When you're like, when you're a couple of days out, you don't give a shit. All you care about is where's the food. Sweet, big squeeze, yeah. Yeah, just get like some blood going in there. I'm just saying you've got to do it. So, just like done, yeah. A little pre-activation exercise, and then we we'll just do some like band work with a rotator cuff and that. That's it. Natural bodybuilding worldwide. Let's go. Boom! Oh, good. He, is, he can compete, he can, he's like, he what can What the same category you two? No, well, I'm a fucking juice egg, he's not. Yes, people, hope you enjoyed that, that that intro there. Training with Josh, push day. This was actually filmed last week, and I really should have probably brought this out last week as well, because I feel like it was quite a while ago now. Um, and I was almost considering doing two videos a week. But what I think I'll do is, once I become just strictly an online coach from the 1st of August, I will be able to dedicate more time to kind of filming content for YouTube and just producing a little bit more content. So, um, but yeah, push day. We started off with some calves actually before that. And then we went to the pec deck where we just done a quick warm up. It was literally just to, to get the pecs warm. That's not something that I would normally do, um, but I kind of just wanted Josh to lead the session today. I'm, I'm, hap I'm more than happy to be flexible when it comes to push. It's my strongest body part, so, well, chest, shoulders, etc. So, um, I'm more than happy to just be flexible and just have a good time and just, yeah, not be so serious with it. Um, but yeah, we warmed up. He's got old man joints. Um, <laughs> so, even though he's not an old man, he might look like one, but he's not an old man. So, um, he warmed up and then we went into a, a dumbbell press. But yeah, this video is great. The content that I've got for this video is pretty funny as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy I'll let you guys just run through and just see a few clips I'll do a bit of commentary but for the most part I just kind of want to see you um, or let you watch us train So yeah, that was our top set for the incline dumbbell bench press. We done another set after that, which I believe was 12 to 15 reps, 
went a little bit lighter. Uh, we both done 60 kilos on on the press. Josh was uh, Josh outdid me on that first one, um, and uh, and on the second one as well. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we kept up in terms of weight, um, and then we moved on to a shoulder press. And Josh is a very strong overhead presser. He gym pinned this with 15 uh, kilos uh, for his first set. And we just done two sets on this as well. Um, yeah, just top set and back off kind of style. Off season, numbers. I can't work with you, you're an individual. You can tell me how you feel. I'm on your knees. When I'm dealing with 32 or 35 blokes, I'm trying to attend for every single one. Right, how, how are you going to. How's you like, as well as an SC session is an hour long. You get an hour. So, how are you going to work everyone's, everyone's weight? No, take a mean. When do people deload? Just take a mean. We just take when you're going to be as busiest. Some people are not going to be playing during a maintenance phase. They're still going to be doing what the team does because you're a team. And if you don't have enough time, why are you, why are you having. Having to, why are you structuring someone's training out for them when actually it's like, oh, Elliot's a freak and he can go 12 weeks without needing a deload. Your feedback for me today is, I feel amazing. Why don't we push you for an extra three weeks? Tell me how you, like, let's see how you feel each week. Each week you're getting more and more fatigued. But that's three weeks of progress and then I was going to rest you and get you going again. You're missing, missing, we're missing out here. Why don't we, like, that's, that's, that's my, I, I do believe in training blocks, we do do it, but. It's like just taking these things from other places and then applying them. It's like, I don't understand it quite. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're going to do R&R &R here. And R&R &R is like, why don't we just go off his feedback? One, two, three, yeah! Come on, We then went on to a incline press on the Smith machine and we done a disgusting, disgusting giant set. Uh, basically 50 reps and we basically just have to get there with a weight. Uh, we take a break when we need to and that break is no longer than like 10 to 15 seconds. Um, but this was disgusting and it's something different than what I would typically do. Usually I just kind of do your, your standard rep ranges. I might throw like some holds in there or uh, maybe the odd drop set or or a rest pause set but never something this high in reps and, and this was really challenging and what felt good is it kind of took me back to when I first started training when it was all just kind of like about the pump uh, and that sort of thing but this was a lot of fun just a very brutal set um, but I feel like I've done pretty well I, I feel like I didn't gas out too quickly it just felt it felt nice it felt smooth 33, 33, 33, again, you're not struggling yet, come on, easy 34, come on, alright, come on, one more with me, and then you have a little breather, 35, 35, yeah, that's it, come back, stand up, breathe, get the air, get the air, get the air, come on, have at least 10, at least 10, when you're 15 minutes left, easy, again, come on, come on, 30, 12, 11, breathe, 10, 9, 8, come on, 7, again, easy, 6, come on, 5, 2, come on, come on, lad, yes, short breather, 5 more to go, 5 more to go, big lads, 1, 5 reps, come on, match them up, 1, easy, good, come on, Three, let's go. Two, last one, last one with me. Come on, 
book. Oh, yes, Martin, yes. Well done, man. <laughs> Brutal. Last movement on the chest. It's actually working sets now on the pec fly. Uh, very, very nice movement. Classic movement. Um, I've done it two different ways on this machine. Uh, I've done it with um, Harvin a few weeks back, and we used D handles and a foam roller, and that felt sensational. This felt okay, just kind of standard. Um, but I, I like to kind of manipulate the machine a little bit just to just to make it feel better uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that as well there's a lot of people that get angry about changing things using bands adding handles doing chest supported shit whatever it is if something can feel better for you and you can make progress on it and it's conducive with building muscle there's absolutely nothing wrong with it so um, I think next time I'll probably do that I'll probably just make that change and just add on some D handles um, and just put a foam roller behind my back just to get a bit better of a stretch and just be in a bit of a better position um, but yeah this one was just two sets and then after this we moved on to uh, our final our final shot off fuck it no our final shoulder exercise which was a lateral raise machine Jesus Christ Elliot superset for arms so it was just a crossbody tricep cable extension which is one of my favorite exercises from for the triceps uh, and it was just superset with uh, cable curls uh, just for the biceps and then that was pretty much it but uh, a very very fun training session and I definitely took some some pieces away there I'm probably gonna start to incorporate just a few of these few of the techniques that I kind of went over with Josh into my own training for example like those giant sets or that giant set because um, again it was just really fun like, I still believe you can 
obviously make incredible progress just doing that which Josh has obviously shown um, but yeah really really good workout obviously this workout is tailored towards Josh's needs and his weaknesses he needs to focus a lot on his chest his shoulders are a very strong point so primarily when he's doing his push workouts he's really really trying to focus on just um, biasing that chest um, and, and just doing a lot more work and volume through the chest as well um, but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video expect more like this it'd be kind of cool for us to get a videographer in and um, get his film pro get this stuff filmed um, by someone else because uh, I think it just gives you a better insight and we can actually talk to the cameraman or whatever um, but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed any questions drop them in the comments below make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week in a bit Squeeze him out, squeeze him out, yeah. Biceps are fucking huge.